Hi, I'm Tony Kerridge, Tony's Tackle. Um, normally giving you a talk on beach fishing tackle. Uh, today I do a lot of boat fishing as well, although people don't realise. And uh, I'm going to give you a little talk um, on place today and certain rigs we use for place. Um, the first one I'll show you is a down tiding rig. Um, it consists of, you can use three hooks if you want. I normally do, but this is one I made up with two hooks this morning um, because Graham said he was coming at the late. Um, at the last minute so basically I thought I'd make them up. Um, I tend to use a lot of bling with place, I don't know if you can see here. Place seem to like a lot of beads and a lot of um, blades and things like that so it saves a lot of time making it up. Um, this is a downtide rig, I've got one of these on the bottom which is very similar. Um, people have got preference in colour of beads, I mean there can be all kinds of colours, a lot of people like uh, black and yellow and all kinds of things and different areas different colors but I have found place generally they love a bit of bling and that's really smart that is it just you get your lug on there you've got beads above it it's all nicely you've got um, a 60 pound C match rig body which is this stuff I use 60 or 80 whatever's available um, then you have amnesia on the snoods which uh, unfortunately, I just sold it to a customer, but I used 20 pound, 20 pound amnesia just for this little snood bit here, about 20 or 25. If you have it too thin, what happens in the boat, it tends to spin up a lot. So sometimes it can be better even 30 or something because it, it tends to hang nice and uh, straight and lovely. 15, you'll find it, it, it all sounds good, but it all coils up. Maybe a bit of fluorocarbon, if not, something like that. Um, size 2 Aberdeen hook. Again, I'm very much for the small hooks, me, um, but you can use up to a 1020, no problem at all. It's just I, I've, I'm a match angler, so I tend to be a bit finesse with things, you know. But I've had some lovely bass on very small hooks, so it just shows you that sometimes you have big hooks and it don't always work that way, you know. So, Yeah, another thing I've found with place is um, they like a bit of white. I don't know why. Um, this is a cannonball rig, which is quite nice because it rolls around on the bottom quite smart. Very difficult to make this rig up because you don't need this swivel. Your main line will come from your rod, which would be about a 20 to 30 pound class. Maybe even a 12, 20, a nice light rod, which is what people are going for now. And they're using smaller reels like 6.5s and 7.000s. They're not using big heavy reels anymore. A bit of braid, and you can use a lighter lead, even lighter than that. But the main thing is it comes down there. I'll put the swivel on to show you how, how it will work. But this will be your main line. Uh, maybe put a bead in here just to make it make it nice and smooth so it runs nice and sweetly. Um, and then as I say, from that you've got your two or three hooks. One comes off the main body there. Um, again, plenty of bling on there. Just keeps the old place and fish interested. I find other fish like it as well. It's quite weird. I made up some rigs, I think I said in one of the earlier videos, and similar to this, and I went out, there was an uptide in one. I caught stacks of bass in the boat and you know, it's just, just something different. It don't do no harm, does it? You know, and uh, your bottom hook, maybe, what, what I tend to do on the bottom hook, I haven't on this one, but I normally have a little bit bigger hook on the bottom because I find a lot of the time your, your bigger fish tend to come on the first hook, the bottom hook. Whether it's closer to the bottom, I don't know, but it always, even with fishing on the beach, you find your bottom hook primarily is your best hook for bigger fish quite often. On the, on the um, bait side, uh, Lugworms primarily bait down here, but a lot of ragworm down towards um, Southampton and places like that on the Solent, they love ragworm. But we use a lot of lugworm here, so that's good. But also a cocktail bait's really good. You know, you can use squid and lug, you can use razor fish, you can use all kinds of baits, strips of mackerel. A bit of cotton's always good. You can make a nice compact bait if you've got elastic cotton, very fine stuff. And you can make a nice bait there that's really sort of juicy to eat, you know, it's great. Right, that's your downtide rig then. Um, you'll catch anything on this, don't just have to catch place, you'll get cod, bass, everything. So they're very much a rig that you'd use all round. And uh, the components are quite easy, you've got blades there, C-match beads, any beads at all, there's thousands of beads on the market. And basically, you've got the main body of the rig there, everything's good, everything's ready to go. And uh, that's it really, and uh, go and catch some fish.